All right, so we're talking eBay to Amazon flips, and this has to be the easiest way for a beginner to get started, right? Once you figure out what kind of products to look for, what kind of products sell well, and you know how to figure out all those FBA fees and all that, you are on your way to making money with uh, eBay to Amazon flips. Here is one that I'm going to show you right here. A few months ago, I got nostalgic for, you know, a Sony PlayStation 2. I wanted to play those games again, so I went out and I started looking at eBay listings for bundles, right? I wanted to get the system with games because I wanted to sell those games and possibly sell the system eventually. So I wanted to look for things that would make me profits. So I paid $84.69 for this bundle. I've already sold two games here. Here's the one of the best ones so far. $94.95 is what this sold for and it gave me a profit of $64. I put a buy cost of 10 bucks on this. So if we added that bit back in, that's $74 right there. Profit off of one almost giving me back um, all of this uh, $84.69, we're about 10 bucks short, which I then went ahead and sold on this one, War of the Monsters, uh, $19.99 for this. I put a $3 buy cost, so $9.69. So these, with these just two game sales, these two right here, I was able to make back the purchase price of that $84.69. I still have the PS2 sitting right here. I don't play it. I'm probably going to go ahead and wrap it up and sell it anyway. So um, overall, this is going to see me some pretty decent profit. My buy cost is already taken care of. I've already made that back. So anything else from here on out is complete profit. So if I were to go ahead and sell that PS2, you know, what kind of profits would I see back from that? Let's look at some of that pricing right now. We got 120. Okay, so 125 is the lowest offer overall. If I just sold it for 125, you know, that's at least $100 in profit right there. Easy. Uh, if I wanted to sell even higher than that, let's see what that prime price is. 169.95 for a PS2. Now, I probably won't price it that high. Let me pull this ASIN, calculate some fees. All right, so we're gonna look at the PS2 now. That those fees will be for uh, FBA. So again, if we just wanted to sell at 125, right, which is the lowest overall offer, cost of product is zero. Let's just calculate it as it is: $106.88 right there in profit. If I just match the lowest overall offer, which I will not on this system, I'm gonna bump it up a little bit. Probably not quite as high. Uh, as that well first prime offer was what 169 so right there you basically just doubled your money with an ebay flip and there's still games to sell from this lot that could net me another 50 dollars in profit so good decent profits there for this amazon flip uh, guys you can do this all day long if we just put practice into example we can go through here and start looking at ps2s uh, but let's just do sony cd walkman i don't know right let's go with that and we'll search. So what we're going to start to do here is just compare the uh, model number here. We're going to go over to Amazon, compare it there, and see what kind of profits there are, if any. So looking at sold listings, uh, let me just X that off real quick. So there's a couple that I've already checked out. I've checked this one out, and I've checked this one out. This one is a winner, but let's look at what this actually looks like. We're just going to look and search for this model number on Amazon, and we can go ahead. We can delete all this other stuff, so you don't need any other information. And sometimes it also helps to delete the little hyphen. We're going to search that and look for this exact product. Here it is selling for $280. Don't get too excited. That is the new price. We are selling this used. We can buy it for $12 plus $5.50 shipping. But let's see if there's any profit in an FBA. Let's see. $13.90 plus $4. Lowest offer. $25 used as a first prime offer. Does it sell? Hasn't sold in the last month, sold maybe once, maybe twice in the last three months. So this is not one uh, that I would do at all. But this one, like I said, I've already checked out and it definitely is a pretty good one. So $14.95 plus $8.95, you're looking at about what, $24 there? $24 for this. Go and search this on Amazon. Check out that hyphen. Boom, there it is, 238 brand new. What about those prime prices? That's that's a good, right, 49.97 is a good floor, right? So 49.97 is the lowest overall offer. Let's look at what the first prime offer is. No prime offers on this currently besides this new offer right here. That's pretty exciting. 
So yeah, 49.97 is the lowest. And it goes a little bit up from there, 54, 65, 69. So you could price this higher than that 50 bucks. So you're going to be paying 24. You're going to flip it, I would say, at least 69.99, maybe even higher. Down here looking at Keepa, it does sell fairly often. You can look at the month history right there. Yearly history, lots of good history on this item. It most definitely does sell pretty often. You can look at the statistics of it. 14 drops a month, so at least the sales rank drops 14 times every single month on average. Uh, so it sells at least 14 times in one month. That's a good chance. So guys, if you got time, you can go through the listings just like this. It doesn't have to be Sony Walkmans. It doesn't have to be video games. It can be anything. If you could find a listing for it on Amazon, you can see whether or not there's potential for profit. It's really simple and easy. It just takes time. But this is a no money, like you don't have to pay any software. This isn't tactical arbitrage. This is just something you're going to do in your free time. It doesn't cost you anything, but you have to spend the time to actually do it. And once you start finding these kinds of deals, you can go ahead and start making those profits on uh, Amazon. Take that money and reinvest it back in inventory, or then maybe go and get something like tactical arbitrage to help you do even more stuff just like this. My name is Josh. EverydayFBA.com is my website. Hope you liked the video. If you did, go ahead, throw a like and subscribe to this channel, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah.